हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल टेक्निकल एजुकेशन टू सॉल्व टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लम्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू इंस्टॉल डीप सी फोर फाइव टू जीरो मॉड्यूल एंड द फंक्शन ऑफ द डीप सी फोर फाइव टू जीरो मॉड्यूल द फंक्शन ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल इज टू स्टार्ट द इंजन मॉनिटर वेरियस जनरेटर प्रोटेक्शन एंड डिस्प्ले द वार्निंग्स और शट डाउन द इंजन इन केस ऑफ event of protection being out of defined range the temperature of the engine the oil pressure of the engine the voltage the frequency the fuel level the oil level can be monitored with the help of this module this module also works as automatic transfer switch and shifts the supply from main to generator and from generator to main in case of mains failure it starts the generator and shifts the supply from main to generator automatically now let's begin the installation process of this module first you need a panel cut out of 118 mm into 92 mm that is the panel cut out you need to install we have made this cut out in acrylic sheet for the purpose of installation of this module the number sequence in the drawing is a bit different from the original module but you have to follow the numbers whether it's on the drawing or on the module 6789 are explained later in this drawing remember to match the numbers on the module and the drawing if you look on the back side of this module you will see the numberings the numbers on the module each pin has a number with the help of a wiring diagram you can install these wires now i am going to explain you each and every wire number 1 wire is battery negative from the pole of the battery it will be connected here and this point is also tied with the engine block must be grounded number 2 is battery positive don't forget to install the fuse that is the view of battery positive and negative it's mentioned on the battery don't forget to install a fuse on the positive side of the battery for the safety of your engine and the safety of the module then comes the fuel supply that is the fuel solenoid where your supply will be connected the fuel supply don't forget to install a relay in between the module and fuel and the self starter or start point that is the starter relay which will be connected with the help of a relay on to number 4 point number 3 is fuel number 4 is start number 3 and 4 are locked with the emergency stop and linked with the emergency stop in case of in case you press the emergency stop number 3 and number 4 supply will be break and engine will not start unless you release the emergency stop the fuel and the start supply is linked with emergency stop number 5 is charging alternators point which will be connected with the wl or d plus point of your charging alternator you have to connect ground on number 10 the ground connections must be on the engine block and must be on the sensor bodies as mentioned in the manual the bodies are already already tightened in the block make sure that the negative is available to these analog inputs 
that is the oil pressure switch you have to connect the G point at number 11 the G point of the sensor will be connected at number 11 number 12 is coolant temperature sensor that is the coolant temperature sensor you have to install it on number 12 number 13 is for the fuel level sensor input remember 11 12 and 13 all these three points threads of these points should be these sensors should be free of teflon and directly in contact with the engine block as the negative of the battery is tightened on the engine block these points will take the negative from the engine block and convert it into a digital value of oil pressure temperature and fuel level number 14 is for the remote start you have to connect it for the remote start number 15 is emergency stop emergency stop is directly linked with the fuel and the start release in case you press the emergency stop your fuel and start function will be disconnected number 16 is user configurable negative input 17 is also the user configurable negative input you can configure it from the engine settings number six is user configurable output for generator breaker close and number seven is for user configurable output mains breaker close these two points will be used as ATS the next eight and nine are also user configurable positive outputs these two are positive outputs 18 and 19 are the can low can high 18 is can high and 19 is can low in case of ECU is connected with the engine you can use, use these two points number 20 is screen the shield of this wire which is the CAN bus wire is connected at number 20 this is the lower side of this 4520 module which is almost completed if you haven't understood anything you can ask me in the comments now we will discuss about the upper side 29, 30 and 31 are the connections for current transformer CT CT1, CT2 and CT3 will be connected here the S1 on the left of the CT is connected at 29 the second CT at 30 and the third CT at 31 P1 and P2 is very critical during this installation P1 will toward the generator side and P2 will be toward the load side of the CT polarity of the CT is very critical for the proper display of the amperes the three phase output red yellow and blue will be passed through these CTs and P2 will be toward the load side and P1 toward the generator side as mentioned in the manual the polarity is very critical 32 is the common of CTs in this image I have shown you the sequence of installation 29 30 and 31 will be connected on S1 points of CTs the S2 points of the CTs are common and will be installed at 32 as shown in the drawing there you can see the cable red yellow blue phase are passing through these CTs the B1 toward the generator side and P2 toward the load side as clearly mentioned in the drawing follow these instructions to install your CTs in case of any doubt feel free to ask in the comments the 21, 22, 23 are the outputs of the generator L1, L2 and L3 don't forget to install the fuse on these three wires L1, L2 and L3 
will be installed on 21, 22 and 23 numbers. 24 is the neutral of the generator. 25, 26 and 27 are the main input voltage. The main input will be connected at 25, 26 and 27. 28 is the neutral. Don't forget to mechanically interlock the two magnetic contactors which are controlled with the help of number 6 and 7 points the automatic transfer switch will be controlled with number 6 and 7 point of our controller module as we have completed the installation we are going to start the generator and check the parameters number 1 screen is the oil pressure 4.20 bar on the left side is the sign of the oil pressure which is coming from the oil sensor that is the temperature engine temperature that is battery voltage next is the hour meter 0 hours and 2 minutes these are the rpm 1587 84 this is the kvl load again the power factor l1 l2 and l3 are the phase inputs as we haven't connected the main there are no phase or no input voltage on these points these are the main input that is the frequency of the generator that is the voltage of the generator output these are the single phase output voltage Now to check the safeties of our oil pressure and engine temperature safeties are working. We will remove the wire from the oil pressure sender. Here you can see the oil pressure is 4.34 bar, 63 psi. When you will remove the wire from the oil sender, your screen will display the XXX value which means that the oil sender is removed. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video.